Yes, people, I am so happy for today's performance. We won 2 0. We played well for the first half. We did absolutely amazing. Went out there. Guess what, guys? William Saliba has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a top, top center back that is going to go to the top of the game eventually. And at this moment in time, guess what? The Farmers League tax is officially gone. All he had to do was play one Premier League game. And all the rivals and all the Arsenal fans and everyone who had a little bit of questions about him have seen his true potential. Last ditch tackle after last ditch tackle absolutely stood on his head. Performance today from William Saliba showed that he's ready to be a Premier League star in the future. In addition to that, Ramsdale came out and saved us numerous times. Today, if Crystal Palace were on their shooting boots, they still couldn't get past uh, uh, Ramsdale. Ramsdale was a wall today. Ramsdale stood tall today. Ramsdale took that number one shirt and said, it's mine, and I'm, and I'm keeping it for the foreseeable future. And he might be taking that England number one shirt very, very soon. On top of everything else, guys, overall performance from the team. I like some of the performances from the team. Ben White did well. Gabriel Magalhães needs to do a little bit better. Zinchenko looks solid, got an assist on his debut game for Arsenal in the league. And get ready. Guys, guys, understand, Zinchenko might not be the best defender, but attacking wise, he's going to be really solid for us. And he's going to offer us a lot of squad depth in the going forward. And I think he's a great signing. Now, Gabriel Jesus, from the opening minutes, he looked like he was a game changer. He definitely, definitely is a level raiser and completely different gravy to what we had last season in Aubameyang and Lacazette. And there was moments where he created chances. There was moments where he did tricks and skills. And I was just like, wow, we finally have a striker. I could have cried. I was so happy. And then you have Martinelli gets a goal. I'm so happy Martinelli got a goal. Not only is he in my fantasy team, but I have big, big stocks in Martinelli this season to do great things and to take it to another level. I can't wait to see him perform this season. And I think he's going to keep that left wing spot for the foreseeable future. I love Emil Smith Rowe, but I think Martinelli is going to keep that spot for now. And when you go to the left side, Bakayo Saka had a hit or miss game. I thought Bakayo Saka at times was good, at times was poor. He needs to fix up a little bit uh, in the final third. I think he can do better finishing his chances. But the own goal, that uh, the goal, the second goal that we got was from him, and it was an own goal, but good goal, anyways. And I should, it should have gotten credit to him. But hey, what are you gonna do? Um, then you're moving on to Odegaard. Odegaard, shoot the goddamn ball, please, please, just shoot. If you have a shot in front of you and you see it and you have an opportunity to take it. Don't pass it up. Take the goddamn shot. Why are you passing it up in that situation? He's wide open in front of the net. Why on earth did you pass the ball? And also, everybody was looking at you. It could have been 2-0 right there. It could have been game done. But you, you hesitated. You passed the ball. And we missed the opportunity from there. Um, I thought Xhaka... Uh, some people were getting onto Xhaka, but I thought he had a decent game. Pate had a good game. Overall, the whole team performance was great. Arteta got it spot on from the beginning to the end. And there were some substitutes, but didn't really... Uh, Eddie Nketiah came on, made a difference, got us the second goal also with his assist. That was a good uh, good piece of substitution from Arteta there. And overall, I'm ecstatic, guys. Don't get too carried away. Don't start saying stuff like, we're going to win the league or anything like that. That's not what we're doing here. What we're doing is we're trying to gain a lead on, on the other teams. Hopefully... You see some of our rivals drop points over the next couple of weeks and we can get an advantage because we came into this new season prepared and they didn't. And as long as we can get that numerical advantage now and pick up our three points and see some of the Tottenham's, the Spurs and the Man United's drop points, we then will be in a comfortable position going into that Premier League season, going into the, the to the end of the Premier League season, hopefully. But yeah, we have easy, we have easy couple next games. Hopefully, we win the next game against Leicester, and then we can move on and just continue to keep the good times rolling. I still want to see more signings. If we can get in a, a midfielder and a winger before the end of the window, I think that solidifies our team and gets us in the right position. But for now, I'm happy, and everyone else should be. And you know what? I don't want to hear anybody say, Oh, it's Leicester. I'm worried about Leicester. No. Don't be worried about Leicester. Be excited about Arsenal. And let me know what you thought about today's performance. What you thought about, in my opinion, the man of the match performance from... You tell me who you thought the man of the match was, actually. I'm not going to give it away. But yeah, have a good one, guys. I'm out of here. This is the Kitty G on EGTV. And big up Mo Hader for always having me on. Love and respect. Sorry that I'm sending this out to you guys late. Peace.